as general manager, really, my role is to marry together the management aspect of the unit with the clinical team. Um, I'm a nurse by background, so I've got 30 years of experience in nursing and 20 of those have been within the unit here. It was key to us when we were developing the new unit that we recognised that actually some of our patients have you know, very young families. Um, we've looked at the space of the rooms particularly. Um, there's a lot more space for people to be here and feel more comfortable. The majority of our patients are brain injury patients, but we also provide generic neurological rehabilitation service. We have specialist clinics and the inpatient facility caters for 42 patients. The specialist clinics are run for multiple sclerosis, for wheelchairs, for spasticity, and there is a clinic developing for motor neuron disease as well. We cover an extended area in the central of England and we are coterminous with the central of England uh, trauma network. We've developed our own assessment called the STAR, which is the sensory tool to assess responsiveness. Um, and it is a very multidisciplinary assessment. And what we're looking at is people's um, reactions to uh, vision, so pictures and things that we're showing them, um, their reaction to sound, their reaction to touch. Um, what we pride ourselves on in the speech and language therapy department is we work very interdisciplinary with the other departments here. So that's physio, occupational therapy, um, psychology, the dietitians, nursing, doctors, um, and above all, family um, and relatives and friends. As nursing staff, we believe we provide integral 24-hour care within the rehabilitation setting. We provide individualised patient care which holistically provides rehabilitation for the patient here. So physiotherapy works within the wider multidisciplinary team at the unit. We work to offer a goal-orientated approach to rehabilitation with the key focus of being to promote independence in patients by either trying to get physical gains or whether it's by use of an assistive or an adaptive device. Due to the diversity of the patients that we see here, we have a high variety of different equipment in our therapy gyms. This ranges from passive standing machines to assistive standing machines to try and promote early weight bearing and mobility following an injury. It also helps with autonomic functioning in our sensory patients, right the way through to strengthening and cardiovascular machines, so to try and promote reconditioning work after somebody's had a prolonged hospital stay or an injury. So the services we offer to patients include cognitive assessment, so that way we're able to see any changes that have happened in terms of cognition and thinking skills from prior to the injury to compared to after the injury. We also offer emotional support both to families and patients. We offer um, group-based support, so in terms of the groups that we run with the other disciplines. And obviously we're very keen to promote that our patients become experts where possible in their own brain injury so that they're better able to understand their difficulties and to adjust to them appropriately. In terms of families we offer one-to-one -one or support for couples and we do sessions with family members and patients themselves because obviously a brain injury means that there's a huge transition not just for the patient but for the family themselves. Well each patient that comes onto our unit is an individual and what we want to try and do is to make sure that each patient's nutritional needs are taken care of while they're with us so that they can get the maximum amount of the rehab potential that they have. So as a dietitian I speak regularly to the relatives and carers to find out um, if the patient isn't able to tell me what their food preferences are like and then the families and the carers um, and friends can provide really valuable information so that the food that we are offering to the patient, which may be the first time they've eaten in months and months, is something that they like and something that they ate beforehand. Occupational therapy helps patients with everyday tasks um, that most of us take for granted, but it can be challenging after a brain injury. So we would help people with self-care tasks, washing and dressing, or everyday tasks like planning grocery shopping, meal preparation. We also look at the physical side of things. We help them with their upper limb and hand function and we do wheelchair assessments with view to providing a temporary wheelchair for them to get around on the ward. The facilities we have are an independent living flat, a kitchen, a laundry, an upper limb treatment room and access to the local shops where we can practice everyday tasks and help the patient prepare for discharge.
In terms of working with the family, it's very important to involve them and we have regular goal planning meetings and progress meetings where the family have the chance to come in and meet with the team, including occupational therapy, and be involved in their, their relative's rehabilitation. Um, I, I decided to volunteer but because f five years ago I, I had a very serious brain injury and af after a long spell in hospital I, I came to Leamington for, for th therapy and, and I w wasn't very good around p people and what one of the therapists suggested that I went to Warwickshire co College. I, I, I w went and, and did art and cr crafts, I'd never done anything like, like that before. And, and I found I could draw and paint, and, and it, it became my lifeline. I, I asked if it was possible to do art with the patients, and that, that's how it all started, and, and it's just been amazing. Um, it's as pleasant here on the unit as it can be when you're in hospital. Um, it's nice and bright and friendly, and the new building is much better because it's much bigger, and. A lot of us here have never been in a wheelchair before and it's very different trying to manoeuvre yourself around in a, in a chair. So this ward is built specifically around that so you don't get stuck between a door and a wall. The staff have always got time to sit and have a chat with you if you want to talk about something. So that's nice as well. There's lots of places just to relax and have a natter. Really I think from um, what, what I want to strive for in the unit, along with the clinicians, is to make sure that we continue to give um, excellent care, um, that we continue to clinically develop the area so it remains an area of excellence um, across the region and both nationally. Mm -hmm.